A News Channel 9 investigation shows the opioid crisis is splitting innocent kids and their families. It breaks my heart. Um, you know, they, they can't help it. Tonight, state officials say drug addiction is pushing more kids into an already overcrowded foster care system. Hannah Lawrence shows us the problem by the numbers and has the story of a family trying to help. Hannah. Josh and Kim, after seeing a huge need a few years ago, this Georgia couple felt called to help house kids who had nowhere to, else to go. Now it's hard for them to believe how much worse the problem is. Hundreds of little feet have walked through the Williams Walker County home over the past six years. Come on, let's go. The letters on this wall represent the kids Dana and Dave have fostered. It's the first letter of the first names of all the children. Lately, they say more and more children are being sent here to get away from a drug problem in their own home. A lot of times they're way more educated in that culture and drugs than we are. That's really heartbreaking to think that those kids have to, that's their normal. Today over the phone. Hey, Mr. Jones, this is Hannah with Channel 9. Walter Jones with Defects told us the whole state is seeing that problem. We don't directly keep statistics on what type of drug uh, the parents are addicted to, but uh, from talking to our staff, we know that it's opioids. Numbers from the state show in the last four years, the number of kids in their care has gone up more than 44%. At this very moment, there are more than 14,000 little faces in foster homes. Jones says opioid addiction is proving to be so gripping, it makes the problem twofold. So not only do we have more kids in the process, but reunification is that much more challenging. Right now, if there's no room for a kid to be fostered in their home county, they may be placed in a home hours away. William says if more people would foster, kids may get to visit with their parents more. It would be a little bit more um, motivation, I think, for the parents to maybe um, get clean. That's why the Williams are willing. Well, it is hard, but we have to put the needs of the children first. In Tennessee, numbers show that nearly 8,000 kids were in foster care as of October 2016. A nonprofit organization called Alliance for Our Kids says the opioid epidemic is also causing an increase of kids in Tennessee state care. Kim. Anna, thank you. Well, the Williams have adopted six kids at the time that they've been fostering. They also started a nonprofit called Our Kindred Community to help teens who are aging out of care.